I'm Sai Chatanya. Welcome to SciTechCur. In this video, I'll be uh, doing the PUBG Battleland test in the POCO F2 Pro device. So it is a small chart uh, which I have prepared uh, in all of my PUBG Battleland test videos. So I'll be recording the video for every 2 hours, 4 hours and 6 hours. So we'll get to know how much the battery is dropped and how much the temperature is also recorded. So these are the conditions which I'll be using throughout this test, test in the while playing the PUBG in the POCO F2 Pro. So uh, if you want more similar kind of videos on different different smartphones, I did same kind of chart comparison with other smartphones as well. MI Note 10 Lite, Redmi K20 Pro after MI year 12 update, Redmi Note 9, Note 9 Pro, Poco X2 and all of the videos are present in one playlist. So try to check that playlist of the PUBG battery and test playlist. So definitely these are one solution for all the videos. So these are playlist which is available. So only for the PUBG alone. So try to check the PUBG, PUBG playlist so you can find plenty of other interesting videos regarding the PUBG. So let's get started uh, with this test which I'll be doing right now here. So as I said, the phone comes with a 4700 mAh of battery, the phone uh, POCO F2 Pro has, so which is a 1080p screen and 6.67 uh, inches screen as well. So these are a few things which you need to do in the Snapdragon 865 uh, processor. So as you can see, POCO F2 uh, Pro and uh, the variant I'm using is 6GB variant and 128GB model, as you can see right now. So uh, in this test, I'll be uh, playing with the HDR plus uh, extreme, uh, sorry, H HDR plus extreme settings. So try to watch till end of the video. The reason why, because at the end, I'll be recording the uh, screen recording of the gameplay. So you can know how much FPS it is while recording at same time. So try to watch till end of the video to get to know more details about the POCO F2 Pro's uh, performance. So let me open the game right now, the PUBG game here. So and uh, even I got the floating uh, stopwatch indication here as you can see. So it's a floating uh, stopwatch which I'll be uh, using continuously while playing this game as well. So the floating stopwatch is only I think close to 1 MB or 3 MB size. So not much of battery drain will happen but definitely this is my flo floating stopwatch which I'll be using in all of the other videos as well. So this should give the unique results. So. Um, as you can see friends right now the phone ba battery percentage is of under percentage and let me change the battery uh, brightness to the 50 percentage and auto brightness I have disabled. So these are settings uh, which I have used and let me even show the graphics also. So HDR plays extreme the graphics settings. So uh, let me start the stopwatch and disconnect the cable at same time. So as you can see friends right now the test has been officially started in the POCO F2 Pro device and during this test I'll be uh, continuously playing in the map uh, continuously running over throughout the time not just uh, spectating because few of the users they do ask me don't try to spectate so try to uh, play the match so it's not possible for me to play uh, all the PUBG games at same time in different different phones and only during weekends I get time to make this kind of lengthy videos so that's why I decided to uh, just run uh, toward the game so as you can see right now, um, overall the game plays pretty good even with the HDR and extreme settings. I do hit always 60 FPS without any problem in the gameplay in the POCO F2 Pro without any other uh, choice. As you can see the Snapdragon 865, we all know that uh, it's a good uh, processor and top end processor. And definitely same kind of videos I have did with the other smartphones as well. So try to watch those videos as well. So let me check the temperature in the beginning of the video. So we'll get a clear idea how much temperature in the beginning and after two hours it is. As you can see 31 degrees is the maximum recorded temperature and 29 on the back side. So overall it's close to uh, 30 degrees only uh, the temperature is. So let's see after two hours of continuously playing the PUBG game in the POCO F2 Pro how much the battery will decrease and how much the temperature will increase in the POCO F2 Pro device. So uh, try to subscribe uh, to my channel and also do support me by liking this video. So again I'll be back after two hours of playing this uh, gameplay in the POCO F2 Pro. So right now it's been uh, exactly two hours of continuously playing the PUBG game in the POCO F2 Pro. The stopwatch will get reset for every uh, one hour so that's why it's showing right now like this. But if you check the time over here it's all uh, 12.36. So if you closely check and battery percentage is around 66% right now. So for first two hours the, there's a drain of overall I think a 44% got drained in the first two hours. So this with the 
HDR and extreme settings, these are one thing you need to remember always. HDR and extreme will consume more battery. And um, in terms of the temperature as well, right now you can see it's not uh, above 40, but it's significantly in it's increasing. So 38 degrees right now. So 38 degrees the temperature is. So let me write down the readings and again I'll be back after two more hours. So we'll get to know in first four hours how much the battery got uh, dropped. So right now friends, it's been exactly after uh, four hours of continuously playing in the Poco F2 Pro device. So right now you can see the time and you can see the battery percent as well, how much it is, 30 percentage. So let me try to uh, focus properly. So right now you can see. So uh, 236 and 30 percentage the battery is. So let me even check the temperatures as well, how much it is. So you can see 39 degrees. 39. And back side is also 37. So this with the HDR plays uh, extreme settings, friends. So you need to remember the settings. So 30 percentage and 37 degrees overall. So these are the temperatures for the four hours of playing continuously in the POCO F2 Pro. So again, I'll be back after, uh, once the battery gets close to, I think close to zero percentage. So we'll get to know how many hours we continuously played in the POCO F2, F2 Pro device and we'll get to know how many hours we can actually play. So uh, finally friends, after five hours and 30 minutes, the battery got dropped to the five percentage. So finally, let me show you the screen on time exactly from the beginning of the usage. So as you can see the screen on time, how much I got 5 hours and 23 minutes. So you can see these are close to results. Overall, you can expect up to 5 hours and 30 minutes of uh, continuous PUBG playback with the HDR plus extreme settings and with a 50% brightness. So these are continuous playing the PUBG game. As you can see, the line is completely straight and down. So you can see, so it's a continuous with a Wi-Fi uh, usage. So not with a 4G or anything, only with a Wi-Fi usage. So overall right now the battery percentage is of 5% clearly you can see. So this is the overall uh, PUBG battery dent uh, test in the POCO F2 Pro and for more videos don't forget to check the links in description for the PUBG battery dent test playlist so you can find plenty of other useful information regarding the POCO F2 Pro as well. Even there is a separate playlist for the POCO F2 Pro so where you can find the how much screen on time I am getting and how is the battery about this phone in detail reviews so you, so you can find the links in description. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and always like this video friends definitely takes a lot of time and effort in making this kind of videos so see you in the next video friends until then bye